I actually didn't plan anything. I didn't have an idea when I started. I started out as a blogger in 2008, being one of the first food bloggers in Denmark. And then from there, people started seeking me in, online and writing on the blog saying, oh, could you do this and this with us? Because we need somebody who knows about food and science and stuff. And you seem like the right person, you have the right skills. And, and I was like, well, hmm, yeah, maybe actually. My name is Mia and I'm studying food science. I have my own little company called CPH Good Food, uh, which is uh, primarily based upon uh, culinary communication, teaching cooking classes, food consultancies, uh, hosting lectures, doing uh, different kinds of uh, cooking stuff, uh, recipe development, food photography, everything I love. I think I've been able to use so much of what I've learned. Uh, it's just a way of figuring out the right way to use it. Um, it's uh, There's so many small things, small details that I'm able to pass forward to my clients and the consumers I meet in my business. And it's just, it's just finding the right way to actually put it into a context where people understand it and where people um, get the point and actually see kind of the light of it. <laughs> It's not always easy being a student entrepreneur. It's, sometimes it's really a challenge because you are kind of in a system where entrepreneurship isn't that big of a deal. Almost when you start university, people have kind of decided your way from, for you. Like, you should do the ordinary thing. You should do what everybody else does. All the choices I've been made in my education has been upon uh, improving my business and being able to give people even more knowledge for me. So yeah, I've been handpicking the classes for whatever I wanted to be able to, to do. Like my main goal is of course to, whenever I finish my studies, to be able to live from it. Uh, and I think that in these times it can be a, quite a big goal. <laughs> It means a lot to me to know that I have my little company and it's something that I put my soul into, definitely. And it's something that I use all my spare time on. It's my passion to communicate science and food, so of course it's not everything I have, but it's a lot, definitely.